Pisco, Wikipedia article audio. Pisco is a colorless or yellowish to amber colored brandy produced in winemaking regions of Peru and Chile. Made by distilling fermented grape juice into a high proof spirit, it was developed by 16th century Spanish settlers as an alternative to Orojo, a pomace brandy that was being imported from Spain. It had the advantages of being produced from abundant domestically grown fruit and reducing the volume of alcoholic beverages transported to remote locations. Etymology Annual Pisco production in 2013 reached 30 million litres in Chile and 9.5 million litres in Peru. Chile is also the main importer of Pisco from Peru. 34% of the pisco produced in Peru is exported to Chile. The oldest use of the word pisco to denote Peruvian aguardiente dates from 1764. There are several suggestions about the origin of the word. The beverage may have acquired its Quechua name from the Peruvian town of Pisco once an important colonial port for the exportation of viticultural products located on the coast of Peru in the valley of Pisco, by the river with the same name. Chilean linguist Rodolfo Lentz said that the word Pisco was used all along the Pacific coast of the Americas from Morocco to Guatemala, and that the word would be of Quechua origin meaning bird. History This claim is disputed by Chilean linguist Mario Ferreccio Podesta, who supports the former Real Academia Española etymology according to which pisco was originally a word for a mud container. However, the Real Academia Española later supported Lenz's theory, and underlines the Quechua origin. Early Aguardientes other origins for the word pisco have been explored, including a Mapudungan etymology where pishko has been interpreted as something boiled in a pot, which would relate to the concept of burned wine. Recession of Peruvian pisco The term influenced the Mexican-Spanish use of the slang term pisto to denote distilled spirits generally. Variants Unlike the land in most of the Viceroyalty of New Spain, where only very few vineyards were established, some locations in the Viceroyalty of Peru what is today Peru, Bolivia and Chile were quite suitable for growing grape vines. By 1560 Peru was already producing wine for commerce, over time, a significant wine industry arose in the region. It grew sufficiently strong and threatening to the Spanish mercantilist policies that in 1595 the Spanish crown banned the establishment of new vineyards in the Americas to protect the exports of its native wine industry, however, this order was largely ignored. As further protectionist measures, the Crown forbade exportation of Peruvian wine to Panama in 1614 and Guatemala in 1615. Peruvian Pisco Distillation of the wine into Pisco began in earnest around the turn of the 17th century, perhaps in response to these pressures. Until the early 18th century, however, most aguardiente was still primarily used to fortify wine, in order to prevent its oxidation, rather than drunk on its own. This method of conservation corresponds with fortified wines that were shipped to Italy and Spain from other parts of the world. In the 17th century production and consumption of wine and pisco were stimulated by the mining activities in Potosí by then the largest city in the New World. Chilean Pisco Ecological Concerns Appellation of Origin Cocktails The entire southern coast of Peru was struck by the 1687 Peru earthquake, which destroyed the cities of Villa de Pisco and ICA. Wine cellars in the affected area collapsed and mud containers broke, 
causing the nation's wine growing industry to collapse. Still, in the early 18th century, wine production in Peru exceeded that of Pisco. By 1764, Pisco production dwarfed that of wine, representing 90% of the grape beverages prepared. With the suppression of the Society of Jesus in Spanish America, Jesuit vineyards were auctioned off, and new owners typically did not have the same expertise as the Jesuits leading to a production decline. In the late 18th century the Spanish crown allowed the production of rum in Peru, which was cheaper and of lower quality than Pisco. In the 19th century demand for cotton in industrialized Europe caused many Peruvian wine growers to shift away from vineyards to more lucrative cotton planting, contributing further to the decline of wine production and the Pisco industry which depended on it. This was particularly true during the time of the American Civil War when cotton prices skyrocketed due to the blockade of the South and its cotton fields. Pisco was also popular in the U.S., in San Francisco and nearby areas of California during the gold rush in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Peruvian Pisco must be made in the country's five official DO departments Lima, ICA, Arequipa, Maquegua, and Tacna established in 1991 by the government. In Peru, Pisco is produced only using copper pot stills, like single malt scotch whiskies, rather than continuous stills like most vodkas. Unlike the Chilean variety, Peruvian Pisco is never diluted after it is distilled and enters the bottle directly at its distillation strength. The production of a regular Peruvian Pisco bottle requires 8 kg of grapes, and a Misto Verde variety needs 12 kg. Many types of grapes were used to produce Pisco, leading to a wide variation in flavor, aroma, viscosity, and appearance of the liquor. This harmed attempts to export the product under a single denomination, resulting in numerous regulations setting a baseline for a product to carry the name. Four distinct types of Pisco were thus designated. Some other specific restrictions of note are Peru currently exports three times more Pisco than Chile, although Chile produces about three times as much Pisco as Peru. Chile is also the top importer of Pisco from Peru. Pisco Punch, the first known Pisco cocktail, invented in San Francisco, California, in the 19th century. It contains pineapple, gum arabic, and syrup, among other ingredients. Pisco Sour, which originated in Lima, is prepared with egg white, lime juice, simple syrup, and bitters. The Chilean version usually has no bitters, Serena Libra, sweeter than Pisco Sour, made with Chilean papaya juice and sugar, Chilcano, it has variations with lime, blood orange, grapefruit, and pineapple, Pisquina, very similar to Caperin Ha, it has Pisco, Chilean Pica lime juice, white sugar, and ice. Mojito de Kuma, a Chilean version of a cocktail similar to Mojito, is made with Pisco, Sprite, 7-Up or a similar soda and mint leaves. Thanks to those sodas sweetness, it doesn't require sugar, Piscola Blanca, a variation of Piscola in Chile with clear sodas, Pisigua Chilean Pisco with carbonated water, Pisquila, Another variation of Chilean Piscola, similar to a British submarine it is Pisco with beer, preferably a blonde beer, Turamoto, a traditional Chilean cocktail made of pipno strengthened with Pisco, Fernet, pineapple ice cream and grenadine syrup, Pice coffee, Pisco with iced coffee and ice. Also is a variation of Irish coffee with Pisco instead of whiskey. Cocktail de Algarabina, 
Peruvian Pisco with Algarabina syrup, cinnamon, egg yolk, and cream, Pisco Flip, a flip on the traditional Pisco Sour, made with egg yolks instead of whites, Cupid's Cup, Peruvian Pisco, Aperol, fresh lemon juice, simple syrup, and egg whites. A thyme sprig is used for decoration, Tame Pisco Bay a cocktail inspired by Tampa Bay, Florida. Made using pisco and fresh cucumber juice, agave nectar, jalapeno slices, and red bell pepper slices and served in an ice-filled highball glass. Peruvian pisco won over 20 gold medals and was named the best liquor of the world in the Concours Mondial de Bruxelles 2011. Chilean Pisco must be made in the country's two official DO regions Atacama and Coquimba established in 1931 by the government. Most of it is produced with a boutique type of distillate. Other types are produced with double distillation in copper and other materials. During the adaptation of many vineyards to Pisco production, the most widespread grape was used as raw material, the musket with some vineyards preferring the Toronto and Pedro Jimenez varieties. As is the case with Peru, regulations for Pisco designations have been enacted in Chile, including the following classifications. Regulation for Pisco producing in Chile is quite high. Chilean distilleries are required to grow their own grapes and are grouped into two categories based in aromatic expressiveness. Muscat types are very fragrant, while Pedro Jimenez, Moscatel de Asturias and Toronto are more subtle. The special and reserve variations are very similar in flavor and color, both being subtly sweet and of a clear birch to transparent color. The flavor is much stronger than regular pisco with aromatic refreshing tones. Chile has taken steps to have a clean and environmentally friendly production of pisco. In order to crack down on pollution, and to increase competitiveness, the National Council for Clean Production agreed with the pisco producers and pisco grape agronomists, to collaborate, signing an agreement of clean production. Capel, by itself invested more than CL$800 million. Peru's production of pisco remains artisanal and does not alter the physical, chemical, or organic properties before bottling. The pisco must be bottled directly after aging, without alteration or adding any product which could alter the odor, flavor, or appearance. The right to use an appellation of origin for pisco is hotly contested between Peru and Chile. Peru claims the exclusive right to use the term Pisco only for products from Peru, but they have not generally been able to persuade other countries to adopt that interpretation. Chile, in contrast, regards the term Pisco as generic, and it argues the spirit is simply a type of alcoholic beverage made from grapes. It cites the name being used to designate a similar grape brandy produced in both countries and maintains two regions of Chile, Atacama, and Coquimba, that it authorizes to use the term. Large market countries The United States, France, Italy, Mexico, Canada, Australia, etc. generally allow products of both Peru and Chile to be identified as Pisco. Some of the most popular cocktails with pisco include Some examples of mixed drinks with pisco include Per capita consumption of pisco in Chile is 3 liters per year, an average of 18% of pisco production by value is premium pisco. Peruvian annual per capita consumption was reported in 2008 as 0.5 liters and growing. 2014 reports mention also an increase of 3.5 million liters per year for the internal market. The top importer of Peruvian pisco is Chile, 
with an estimated import value of 1.6 million US dollar in 2016. US is the second highest importer, with an estimated import value of 1.4 million US dollars. Mixed drinks Consumption Canario, Capitan, Chilcano de Pisco, a Peruvian cocktail made with pisco, lemon juice, ice, bitters, and ginger ale, Piscola, also called National Cocktail and Chile a cocktail prepared mixing Coca-Cola and Pisco. Other combinations of Pisco and Cola include the Peru Libra differentiating the same drink made with different origin Piscos, Pisco Sorpresa, a cocktail originated in East London, inspired by the Latin American classic. Involves shaking gin, Cointreau, Triple SEC, Bacardi, and Pisco, adding raspberry juice, pouring into a cocktail glass and finishing off with a dash of soda, grenadine, and a squeeze of lemon, Piscatec, Roller Pisco, Don Alfredo, a Peruvian cocktail made with Mesto Verde Pisco, Saint Germain, lime juice, ice, and soda water.